with my head in the clouds. Everywhere I go, I keep seeing an eye. Hello, Planet Coaster fans, and welcome to an announcement that I am somewhat shocked to be making today. Officially, Planet Coaster 2 is happening. Now, they have not given a release date yet for it, but they are saying it will be in the fall of 2024. Um, I've watched a few other YouTubers and what they've said about it, and they have confirmed that the project has been going on for a little while, and they've actually gotten to see some demo footage of the game, so I'm going to talk about a few other things I heard there, as well as a few other things that we can see in the video for ourselves. The biggest change from the original game, very obviously here, is that in Planet Coaster 2, we will have water park functions in the game. So now not only can you make a theme park that has your standard roller coaster and flat rides to it, but you will be able to put in your own slides that actually function, pools that actually function. It looks like there is a river ride that you can put in, so of a lazy river. Don't know if we can put in sort of a more aggressive, not so lazy river, like you can see at Universal Studios, but that's something maybe we'll find out. Maybe it's something that might be added on. You can see in the background of one of the images a sign that indicates that there will also be a wave pool for it, which is very uh, sort of typical for a water park, so I'm not surprised that it's going to be there. But it is great that they're adding all these features with the water park function to the game. Now, there are a few other things to note as well here, and we'll see a picture coming up in a few moments of a teacup ride. And this is another huge change, I would say, to the game. But flat rides are going to have places on them, and it might not just be flat rides themselves. Other rides might also have it, where when we see this teacup ride, they add on a centerpiece there of that submarine. You saw it there very quickly. You can pause it, you can look at it as the video plays through again in the background. And they also, if you notice, in between the different sections of the teacup ride, add in rocks and coral to it. Now, from what I understand, this is not gonna be specific that you have to add that specific theming to it, but what it's going to be is that the flat rides themselves will have areas to them that you can theme. So that way, instead of it just being a very standardized flat ride where we put a building around it and try to make it look as appropriate for the section we want in our theme park, you can now actually theme the ride itself and make it more of a section to that park. Additional things I want to point out here is we are going to have some new types of coasters, including the most recent type of coaster that's sort of out in the world right now. It should be shown here in a few moments, but it is the surf coaster model that actually came to SeaWorld in Orlando. I've gotten to see it in, public, in person. I did not get to ride it, unfortunately, that day. Here it is right there. But we are going to have that surf coaster as an option. And my guess is that we're going to have many of the other versions of coasters that have come out between the time that the original Planet Coaster was released and now. So maybe some of the single rail type of coasters from RMC, uh, maybe some more spinning coaster options like the launch spinning coasters like we have with the uh, one at Silver Dollar City and such. But as I said, there are a lot of different options they could add on there. Even some of the flat rides definitely are new to the ones that we had in the original game. So overall, the game looks like it's going to add a lot of new options for us who love Planet Coaster. I am without question going to buy this game, and I will hope to put it on the channel day one as soon as it comes out. 
my thought for it is I am going to play through any kind of story mode they had like they did in the original one because I feel like they did a really good job in the original game with their sort of mission mode that they had there of teaching you how to play the game. And I think with all the add-ons that they're putting into the game, it wouldn't be bad for me to learn all the new things they're going on. So we'll first go through their different missions and stuff before we start trying to create parks of our own. With that being said, right now I'm sort of almost at a dilemma. While this is great news and I'm very happy for Planet Coaster 2 coming out, and I am excited to buy it and play it myself, I have been working on a very large project in the background. Um, I already posted to the channel the Warner Brothers sort of entrance area to the multiple parks that I wanted to do Warner Brothers themed. Since then, I have started on the first of those parks in Planet Coaster. Um, I have the videos already recorded and the entirety of the entrance for the studios park completed. I had planned to put that footage onto the channel once I got the first section of the park, the first themed section of the park done. Now, <laughs> oddly enough, I had actually planned on this weekend when I got off of work, working on that some. I have not started that section yet. And now I'm sort of wondering if I will or not. Um, the reason being pretty obvious here with Planet Coaster 2 coming out. Those videos would probably go into the fall to cover what I've done so far. And I really want the focus to be on Planet Coaster 2 when it does come out. The other thing is this game is obviously going to improve on some things and probably fix some of the issues that we have in Planet Coaster. Um, perhaps we won't have the lag issues when we have guests in the park. I don't know. That might still be a thing. Uh, but I think they've fixed that somewhat in Planet Zoo from what I've heard of people who have played that game. Um, I've heard that this game is going to have different pathing that will work a bit better than it does in the game right now. From what I understand, the base game when it comes out is going to have five themes to it, one of which is a very new and interesting theme to me, which is going to be a Viking area. That was something I wanted to do in Planet Coaster, and I was going to sort of have to try to piecemeal it as best I could with things that I could find on the workshop and what I could create on my own. There's also, as you can see here, the aquatic theme, which is possible using the coral and the submarines and everything of that nature. So that's also a really cool area, and it actually does fit into another portion of the Warner Brothers Park that I wanted to build. With that being said, I do wonder if a lot of the things that are in Planet Coaster are going to carry over. Are we going to have a lot of the scenery pieces and such? Or are we going to have a very limited amount in the new game? And that's where I'm sort of torn, because I somewhat feel confident for that first section that I want to build in the Warner Brothers Park that I can in the original game. The irony of it, though, is the biggest ride in that section is supposed to be a water ride. And especially since this game seems to be really focusing on water much more than the original did, it might do a better job of having water in the game. And I almost wonder if maybe I should wait and try to do my Warner Brothers Park with this new game once it comes out. I would love to hear your guys' feedback on it. I'm not going to really commit one way or another to it right now. Um, if you start seeing the videos over the entrance that I created and stuff over the next couple weeks, then you'll know the decision that I made in the end. But for right now, I'm really not sure which direction I'm going to go on it. It could go either way. As I said, if you've got an opinion and if you want to give me your feedback, I will definitely listen to it. Doesn't mean I will automatically take your position, but I definitely will listen to what everybody has to say. With that in mind, though, I hope that you're all as excited for this news today as I am. I, as I said, am looking forward to this game coming out. Um, it is, without a question, the game that I care about now this year. It is surpassed everything else that was on my list and everything else will be sort of moved or rescheduled at different times to make way for this game because planet coaster is my favorite game there is a reason that my logo uses the lettering from the game because yeah for me it is my favorite game of all time 
this sequel I have been waiting for pretty much since that first game came out, and so I'm excited to now play it. But with that in mind, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. That way you'll be aware when the game comes out and when I put out videos. Until then, I look forward to seeing you for other videos. Thank you.